Yo, what's up guys? Just making this video to try and spread awareness about the events that are going to be happening over the next month or so. Since it is the month of Christmas, Jagex are giving us some weekends to look forward to, and also a couple of other things which I will mention at the end. So first of all, let's take a look at some of the special weekends that are coming up. Just click on the snowman and then click on winter weekends to see this page and then all the different weekends will be displayed on here just in case you forget. Now before I start at the top it says all winter weekends run from 12 o'clock on Friday to 12 o'clock on Monday game time. So that means that you do not only have the Saturday and Sunday but you also have a bit of the Friday and Monday as well. So just bear that in mind when I'm saying the dates because as you can see from the first one it's from the 3rd to the 4th of December and that's for the arc and the 3rd and 4th of December are only the Saturday and Sunday. But like I said, just remember you have a bit of the Friday and the Monday as well. But anyway, yeah, from the 3rd to the 4th of December you have the Ark, and during this weekend all supplies will be half price, you'll have a chance to not deplete Uncharted Island resources, you'll gain two extra Waiko contracts and those rerolls are free, and two Orokami will spawn instead of one on Uncharted Isles. Now I don't know much about the Ark because I haven't done it much myself, but I mean if you're into the Ark and these rewards appeal to you, then by all means make sure that you take advantage of them this weekend. Moving on to the next one, which is going to be a big one for most of you, and that is Skilling. And this is going to be happening during the weekend from the 10th to 11th of December, and there are going to be quite a lot of buffs going on during this weekend. The first one is you'll be gaining double XP and reputation at the Artisan's Workshop. I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly that Iron Men will not benefit from double reputation. I'm not sure if they will not benefit from double XP as well, but I'm pretty sure I remember a mod mentioning on a live stream that Iron Men will not benefit from that double rep. And like I said, also not sure if they're going to benefit from that double XP as well. Next up we have increased node spawns and reward points at Runespan, I know what I'm going to be doing that weekend, need to get that rune crafting up and I guess now is the perfect time to do it. Also you'll gain bonus chance on jeweled statuettes whilst wearing a ring of wealth, and you'll also gain a double chance of a pharaoh scepter and black ibis drop at pyramid plunder. For divination, enriched divination nodes will spawn every 10 minutes, and divination wisps last twice as long, and also fishing spots stay in the same place twice as long, so that will just make these two skills a little bit more fk. And finally for these last two, mining nodes and trees replenish twice as quickly and you'll gain 50% base big chinchomper xp. Moving on to the one that is going to be the biggest weekend for me and that is bossing and slayer. During this weekend you'll get an increased chance of rare drops and an enhanced ring of wealth. Charms will give you one more charm than normal so if you're looking to get that 99 summoning or just get to like a milestone in summoning then this would be the best time to like harvest charms. You'll gain 50% increased base slayer experience which is huge. All Slayer tasks will be treated as using a Slayer VIP ticket and if you don't know what that is you'll basically just be given a choice between two Slayer tasks and you'll just have to like pick one and then that will be your Slayer task. You'll get 10% cheaper instance fees, you'll gain extra training points whenever you are training someone and you'll gain the ability to loot Mazcab raids once per day instead of once every two days. Next up we have Clue Scrolls, now I'm not a fan of Clue Scrolls myself but I know a lot of you are but if there is ever a time to complete a Clue Scroll this weekend would be the time to do it. You'll gain one free reroll per clue scroll per day, and I think that means per like easy, medium, hard, and elite. Gilly Willikers will give you a free clue scroll a day, and the clue scroll that you get depends on what your total level is. Each clue scroll that you complete will earn you a festive box, and they can contain the items that are displayed there. And during the whole weekend, you'll have an improved chance to get clue scrolls from drops and pickpocketing. Next we have the mini games weekend and this will run from the 31st of December to the 1st of January. Don't know about you guys but I'm almost certain I'm going to be hungover on the 1st of January so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be playing during this weekend. But anyway what you'll gain from this weekend is an extra Castle Wars gold ticket per game. You'll have an extra 600 daily bonus points at the Cabbage Face Punch Bonanza. You'll gain double points from Pest Control and Conquest. You'll gain double bonus XP and gamble rewards in Barbarian Assault. Bosses killed in the Dominion Tower count as two for the purposes of reward unlocks. You'll gain double points from Stealing Creation, double zeal from Soul Wars, and you'll gain one extra medal from Fish Flingers per game. Next up is Ports, and this one will run from the 31st of December all the way up to the 8th of January. So this one, unlike the others, is a week long instead of a weekend. And the buffs that you can get from this is you'll get 25 voyages a day instead of 15. And all those voyages return 30% extra trade goods and resources. And also you'll be able to get Cerula's special voyage on Saturdays and Sundays as well as on Thursdays. Finally we have the Dungeoneering weekend which will take place from the 7th to the 8th of January. And during this weekend you'll gain double tokens from both regular Dungeoneering and Sinkholes. And each Sinkhole lamp that you get will have its base experience increased by 50%. So that's it for the special weekends, just make sure that you participate in whatever you want to participate in, and most of all just make sure you make the most out of them. 
Now I did say at the beginning there's a couple more things that I wanted to highlight. Well if you click on the little advent calendar tab, there's an advent calendar there that you can open every day. This will work like any other advent calendar. Just open the boxes for whichever days have gone by, and don't worry if you miss a day, you can open them all up to January 9th. However for Iron Man, I'm led to believe that this does not work for you. Here's me trying it on my first Iron Man, I'm not sure if this is just the first box that's not available to Iron Man or if it's like the whole advent calendar. I'd assume it's the whole advent calendar, I don't know why they'd only make like one or two boxes non-Iron Man friendly. But anyway yeah, just as an example, looking at today's reward which was two loot Christmas piñatas. If you just beat on these piñatas, they will give you some goodies at the end. I'm not sure if we're going to be getting piñatas every day or if the reward is going to be different. And also don't make the same mistake I did, I deployed two at once and then that made one of them disappear. Just make sure you only deploy one at a time, I was an idiot for not reading the error message that came up. And then yeah, you should be all good with that. Also the Christmas main event comes out on the 5th of December and then I think another one comes out on the 19th of December as led to believe by this screenshot here. It looks like they're coming out in episodes as you can see. So yeah, don't forget to participate in these, I'll probably make a similar video to this on the actual event itself. But I mean we'll just have to wait and see to see like how everything goes. And finally this is a big thing, for a while you'll be able to use the festive aura. And this aura only works during the Christmas festive season and what this will do will increase all experience gained by 50%. You can use this for up to 30 minutes a day, however I heard on the official live stream that you can only gain 50k bonus XP a day. However bonus XP is still bonus XP so don't forget to use it every day and by the end of the month you could have potentially gotten up to like 1.5 mil XP. So yeah, don't forget to use it. Also if you don't see it in your bank or your inventory, head on over to Varak and talk to Xuan or Juan, I don't know how you say his name. Open his shop and click on tier 1 auras and then it should be down at the bottom on the right hand side. And that's pretty much it for this video, just wanted to make it just to spread awareness like I said at the beginning. Make sure to take advantage of all the advantages that Jagex are giving us. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe if you're new, and peace!